You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, uh, welcome back. I'm here in Indianapolis uh, at the Stewart Lecture Series, the State of Black America annual conversation. You might recall last year, I also uh, moderated the conversation. So looking forward to it uh, tonight as well. This is October. It is, of course, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is an issue that affects uh, women, but also men. You might recall that Matthew Knowles earlier this month announced that he has been diagnosed with breast cancer. It is an issue uh, that affects African Americans more so than anyone else. Uh, when you talk about those numbers, uh, black women get black breast cancer at a slightly lower rate than white women, yet they are 42% more likely to die of the disease. Uh, it is a huge issue against for many of us. Joining us right now is Ricky Fairley, president and thought leader for Dove Marketing and herself a breast cancer survivor. Um, uh, uh, first of all, Ricky, I mentioned Matthew Knowles. Um, there have been other African-American men, Ed Brooke, former um, a United States senator, uh, who's been impacted by breast cancer. And so when people think of this, they think of women being impacted, but men are impacted by breast cancer as well. They are. Richard Roundtree had breast cancer. Um, but for men, it's only a 1% incidence rate for men. So it's a, it's a small number of men. But guess what, Roland? Black men die at three times the rate because they're not getting mammography, they're not getting the, the kind of care that white men get, and they're probably getting it at a later stage. So it's a big problem for black men when uh, they do get it. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and the reason I wanted to say that it impacts those black men, uh, obviously it impacts black women more than anybody else because uh, we can't ignore it, act as if it doesn't exist. And so we talk about those disparities. Uh, what has been done to lower those disparities? Uh, of course, the Affordable Care Act had a huge impact on the uh, health of African Americans. Uh, have we seen uh, the result of uh, increased detection uh, as a result of African Americans now being able to afford health care through the Affordable Care Act as opposed to before? Not really, and, and mammography has increased. So more women are getting mammograms. But what happens, what's happening in a lot of cases is you go to get your mammogram, you get a not so great result. They call you back and say, okay, you need to come back in tomorrow to do some more diagnostic testing. And guess what? They go back and the MRI or the sonogram or whatever they need for diagnostic testing costs $2,000 or has a $4,000 copay. So they can't afford to do the, the, the rest of the testing to get checked to find out if they even really do have breast cancer and so they don't do it they forego it and they die you know that's that's one of the main things that's happening with even with the diet so even though they're getting mammography free the rest of the testing isn't covered and they have to pay for it and so when you look at this conversation taking place among the democratic presidential candidates medicare for all uh what options do we have to provide folks being able uh to get checked to get screened because if i can afford a mammogram but can't afford the uh, more rigorous test and then all of a sudden I get breast cancer. Right. Says we're screwed. We're screwed. We and we really need to, the, the 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 insurance needs to cover the whole diagnostic process and then also the treatment process because even now a lot of the the chemotherapy drugs are coming in pill form and so if you have some hospitalization you can go to the doctor you, you know like I have a port you can have the, you know you have chemo through the port but sometimes now you're getting chemo in a pill which requires you to go to a pharmacist and you have to you know have a pharmacy plan and a drug plan to get those drugs and you can't afford it a pill could cost a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars and so you can't afford it so even once you get treated and you get the chemo you know you may not be able to afford the pill which is crazy. We shouldn't have to worry about money so, with health care. And for the folks who are uh, watching, what do you want them to do? Uh, what should they be actively involved in when it comes to this whole issue of, uh, of pushing insurance companies to cover this? What, do you, what, what kind of activism do you want to see? Well, um, I work for an organization called Sisters Network, Inc. We are the only national black breast cancer foundation and we're run by survivors and we are trying to basically raise money right now just to go to get legislation passed to talk to our congress people to you know to help women out who are in treatment and can't afford the care right now and we have a fund where people can you know kind of apply for money if you need your rent paid if you need something paid for to try to help them out in this sort of vacuum where we don't have care and we don't have the coverage that we need our website is sistersnetworkinc.org 
So we have a, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary right now. If anyone wants to, you know, give us a donation, that would be great. But the money will go to good use because we're using it to work through our local legislators. We have 18 chapters across the country and also to help women who are in need. And that's really important to make sure our sisters are, are being treated properly. All right, Ricky Fairler, we certainly appreciate all the work that you are doing. Hopefully folks uh, will reach out uh, and contribute to the cause because uh, we have to be willing to support our own. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Roland, so much. Take care. All right, folks, back to our Roland Martin Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, family, it's almost time. The holiday season is my favorite time of the year. And whether you celebrate Thanksgiving, Ramadan, Christmas, Kwanzaa, or New Year's, this is when you think about spending time with the people you love most. This is also the time to count your blessings and support those less fortunate and look at how you can have an impact on their lives. Well, I have the perfect opportunity for you to be a holiday hero and have a major impact on other families. Now, here's the deal. Right now, hundreds of thousands of Americans are sitting in jail without being convicted of a crime. Why? Because they lack the financial resources to pay their bail. Now, think about it. If you are arrested for any minor offense, you'll be taken directly to jail. And if you don't have bail money, whether it's a few hundred or a few thousand dollars, you will stay there until a court date is scheduled. That could be days, weeks, or even months. Now, America's bail system is broken and has created a two-tier system of justice. One for the rich, another for the poor. Folks, freedom should be free. And that's why the Ebony Foundation has partnered with the Bail Project and is sponsoring the Home Mother Holiday Campaign. Now, with your help, the goal is to bail out a thousand people by New Year's Day. Now, a donation from you today can change someone's life tomorrow. And this is critical because people of color represent upwards of 90% of the jail population across the country. Now, when folks stay in jail, 90% of the people with misdemeanors end up pleading guilty because they want to get out of jail. However, when bail was paid, 50% of the cases were dismissed and less than 2% received a jail sentence. Sometimes justice needs just us. To join the fight to be a holiday hero, you can donate 25, 50 bucks or more to help the Ebony Foundation bring our brothers and sisters home by the holiday. To donate, go to homebytheholiday.com. That's homebytheholiday.com. Please support them now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.